morning. What a difference one day makes. Yep, it didn't get down to but uh, 41 last night. So the ice on the reservoir, most of it melted. That's pretty awesome. And right now it is 51 degrees and the wind is blowing. So that's helping too. But down here on the end of the lake, uh, it's still frozen. It must have been really thick down there. But those mountains, they're still just gorgeous. All right. Well, y'all, today we're leaving this area and we're on our way to Missoula, Montana. We got to go to the Cabela's to buy some winter clothes because guess what? We don't have any. <laughs> And most everybody that was here camping, most everyone is gone. This place was full last night. So, yep, Daryl is getting his truck back uh, here in about an hour. Woohoo! And we'll be on our way. And we're meeting Sandy and Doug in Missoula. All right. Talk to y'all soon. All right. The right. winds are blowing and it's cold. Day six. We're stuck here for one more night. I know this morning I said we were leaving, but things yeah. change. Things change when you're out here on the road. Uh, the wind's pretty pretty heavy right now. So, and a few other things are going on. So, we're just going to go to town. Yep. And uh, have some lunch to a real nice little restaurant. Take y'all around. It was the last time we were here, a year ago. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to show you around... Uh, town a little bit. Yep. And, Dillon, uh, Montana. Dillon, Montana. Nice little town. Great folks. Uh, so, uh, off we go. Yes, I'm sitting in the truck, keeping the wind off of me, but we're here at Murdoch's, and Murdoch's is like tractor supply back home. Um, they have a little bit of everything. In fact, for Father's Day last year, we were here, and I bought Bobby a chainsaw for um, Father's Day. We love this place. They have clothing. They have... Um, propane tanks you know if you want a uh chicken coop they got those too yep there they are right in the front but we're going in here to see what kind of uh winter clothing they still have we come to sparky's to eat today and we're sitting in the back of the pickup Woohoo! this is an awesome restaurant awesome we love this restaurant. Oh, um, and there's a car hanging off the wall there. Great food. We got TVs everywhere. <laughs> Sitting up there on the table. Woohoo! Nice. Very nice. Stuffed wontons at Sparky's. Alright, we'll tell you how they are. Daryl, what'd you get? I got fried catfish, battered homemade with some fries, coleslaw, uh -huh. and an appetite. Oh, and the appetizer was really good. It was really what'd good. What'd you get, young lady? I got the fried chicken salad. Oh, let's zoom in on that, y'all. Do I look good? 
Looks really good. Okay, Mr. Childers, what did you get? Look at that. Cheeseburger. He got a cheeseburger with fries, y'all. Looks mighty good. Mighty good. And I got chicken tenders and sweet potato fries. Yummy. Everyone really enjoyed their meal. We would definitely eat there again. Bon appetit! The laundromats in town are nice. There's two. One of them is very new. And this one that I'm showing you is the one that we used last year. Affordable and clean. There's two grocery stores in town. There's actually three, but... We don't count the other one as a grocery store. This is Town & Country. Really good, fresh food. And the other one is Safeway. Everybody knows what Safeway is. But um, not too bad on their prices. So, enjoy. Here at Syntex, they have a dump station. Right here on the side. And water. It is free. Yes, it's free. There's the water, and here is the dump station. No lock. You're good to go. Yeah. And they have truck and RV lanes here. And the price for fuel is not that bad. It's one of the cheapest in town, right? Yep. All right. Wait for it. That ain't me. That's the wind moving the rig. It, it said 12 miles an hour today. Yeah. We just came back from town. It blew us back from town coming out of the north. This morning when, when we left to go to town, it was coming from the west. Now it's coming out of the north. This high pressure starting to build in. This front's moving on through. But man, is it stirring up the dust and the dirt. Big time. I mean, look at the TV move. <laughs> the rig is moving. Yeah. It's moving the rig. Yeah. Uh, we haven't had on occasions when the winds get high. We've had to pull the slides in. Yep. Because you don't, sometimes these winds can be so strong they can move your slide. Mm -hmm. And it mm -hmm. actually can break the gear. Oh. Like the one in the bedroom. Yeah, the winds hit us so hard <laughs> when we were in Nevada that now we have a problem with our slide. Not serious. I can still get it in and out. Yeah. But it's making a different noise. Exactly. It was the easiest one to put in before. It was the quietest. Yeah. And now, it's acting <laughs> up. <laughs> but it's okay. We're going to deal with uh, it. Man. But Daryl not getting his truck back today was actually a blessing. Yeah, because uh, we feel so blessed that we're still here at the campground mm -hmm. at Beaverhead. And... Uh, and we're in Dillon, Montana, uh, Park uh, Canyon Reservoir. Yeah. So, it looks like a ranger over there. I'm not sure. He's, UPS drivers, truck drivers are pulling off the highway because the road, the wind's yeah. so bad. Yeah. There's a big parking Can area Can you see up him there. up there? Yeah, there's a big parking area yeah. up there. Yeah, there's the UPS guy. I bet he was scared. He's a triple. Woo! I don't know if that's yeah. a ranger or maybe one of the parking Wow. Areas. Y'all can hear the wind too, can't you? Put it over here and let them hear it because it's coming right out of the north. <laughs> We're, the north is north is that way because my Starlink's down here. Yep, there's my Starlink. Yep. It's still there. Yep. Ooh. It's, it's, it's more than, it's, it's at least 20, 25 miles an hour. Yeah. This energy, Every bit of that. This energy is the storm system they're talking about coming to the uh, further east in the next day or two. Yeah, they have some bad weather coming across to the east. Yeah, but yeah. after this gets through, it's really going to warm up here. Well, I, I do not like when the wind blows because it rocks the trailer like you're on a boat. And I get seasick. So I have to either take Dramamine or uh, wear one of these. Yep, that helps a lot. <laughs> I can't help it. Mm. Yep, look at that water moving. 
Ooh. Yeah, it looks like it froze over a little bit while we were gone because that wind is super cold, y'all. Well, it is cold. Coming across the snow capped mountains. Whew. We will talk to y'all tomorrow. Stay warm or cool wherever you're at.